Welcome. On behalf of the Computer Science Department at the University of Northern Iowa and Google, our corporate sponsor in the original development of this course, I would like to welcome you to an introduction to programming with Scratch in education for the summer of 2015. My name is Dr. Ben Schaefer. I'm an associate professor of computer science at the University of Northern Iowa, and it's my voice that you're going to be hearing in the videos that you will be viewing as you complete this course over the next few weeks. You may also have the opportunity to interact with me via email or video conference during this course. Either way, I want to welcome you to what I hope will be a very beneficial course. Through the learning modules in this course, you'll get a chance to explore and interact with Scratch, a powerful and graphical programming language for students of all ages. Now, you won't learn every last feature of Scratch, but the content of this course has been designed to give you enough exposure to a wide variety of commands and applications such that you'll feel comfortable introducing Scratch to your students. Now, I've personally been teaching Scratch since 2007. During that time, I've had the opportunity to teach it to elementary students, secondary students, college students, and even adult learners, both in-service teachers like yourselves, and even senior citizens who have an interest in learning a little bit about computer programming. I have to tell you that I've discovered that Scratch is an exciting way to engage students of all ages and experience levels with creativity and problem-solving skills that often come with computer programming. I'm hoping that over the modules in this course, you too can begin to see how Scratch can be incorporated into your classroom, regardless of the discipline that you teach. The modules contained in this course are designed to be appropriate to a wide range of learners, and we want, them to be able for, we want for you to be able to apply them no matter whether you're an elementary school teacher or a secondary teacher. But we're confident that if you give this course the time it deserves, approximately three to five hours per module, you'll come away being comfortable using Scratch with your students. Understand, you don't have to become an expert at Scratch. You only have to learn enough to point students in the right direction. From years of experience, I can tell you that a significant part of Scratch will simply teach itself to your students. If you can get your students' curiosity up and running, they'll forgive you if you don't know every answer to every question. Computer programming is one of the few disciplines where it's actually okay to say to your students, I don't know, let's see if we can figure it out. Now, having said all of that, please know that I try to be available to answer your questions, not only during the six weeks of this course, but also during the upcoming school year as you work with Scratch and your students. So if later on this fall, you come up with a problem that you need some help on, let me know. Now, as you complete this course over the next few weeks, I have a couple of suggestions for you. First, make sure you set aside enough time to complete this course at a comfortable pace. Don't try to cram it in in a week. Set aside a couple of hours, one morning or one afternoon, to work on the lesson materials for a single module. And work along with the lecture videos for that module. Don't just sit back and watch me do things with Scratch. Have the video up in one location and Scratch up in another and work along with me in the videos. Take the time to occasionally stop and explore more on your own. Give an honest effort to take some time to look at each of the ungraded tasks. I know, you hear ungraded and, it, and the b alarm bells go off. You don't need to worry about this because Schaefer's not going to grade it. Trust me, those are where a lot of the learning actually take place. Now, once you've finished the lesson videos themselves, you might take a day off before you come back and tackle the homework assignment for that module. You might think it's better to do it right away when the material's fresh, but oftentimes by that point it's time to walk away. Come back tomorrow, come back another day, make sure you can allocate the time for the project, and make sure that you still understand what it was that you did a couple of days earlier. Now, once again, when you're all done with the lesson videos and you're all done with the homework and the peer reviews for that assignment, more on that later, then walk away for 24 hours again. In the end, 
Notice that basically all of those hints boil down to two things. Number one, take the course seriously. Number two, give it the time it deserves. This course isn't hard, but trying to cram multiple modules into a single day, I had a teacher last year try to do three modules in one day so she could finish it off. That just doesn't give you the time to reflect and to digest on the material that you just learned. One more suggestion. Please keep an eye on the announcements tab available in the menu above this uh, video here. This will give you a list of all of the announcements I send out via email, but it will also list my office hours. I'm here to help and I'd love to interact with you and answer your questions. So because of that, I'll be conducting weekly office hours using Google Hangout. Typically, this will be Wednesday or Thursday evening, depending a lot on my schedule for that week. But if you have an issue, you're working on Monday, you have a question, and you want it answered and you don't want to wait till Thursday, then contact me. If any time my office hours aren't helpful for you, send me an email. Let's see what we can do to work it out. Remember, I'm here to help and I want you to succeed. All right, I'm excited to be working with you over this course. So if you're ready to get started now, click on the course materials link in the menu bar at the top of this page. Select Unit 1, Getting Started with Scratch, and start working your way through the course. Have fun, be patient, and we'll see what comes out of this course. Good luck.